right, Remy Fisher is here again with another race. Two races in one day. I don't think I've ever done that. But since it has been a while since you guys have seen a race, I decided to do it. So, on your pole is Colin Lindsay in the 29, followed by Michael Finch, Alan Cavagnaro, Mr. Hendrick Fan, Skylar Dixon, Ryan Lauren, Chris Washer, last, uh, wait, no, yeah, never mind, Jonathan Skavnicki, LJ Mills, and Zinderman. Mills won here the first race and was here at Talladega. Can he get another win here? We'll have to find out. Get these guys going already. Okay. So, we all remember what happened here last time. Right? There's a huge crash right there. Having, uh, having the 88 flipped over. The 18 was in the fence. Let's see if they can race clean today. With that, which I doubt they will because coming down to the final few races. So, Lindsay's on the pole. Green flag is out. Hendrick Fan already through the middle. Oh, what was that? Don't hit anyone. Don't hit anyone. And... Wow, they saved that. Last week's winner nearly gets turned. The 24 of Skylar Dixon. That was scary. But he probably crapped his pants just now. But out front is still Lindsay. But here comes defending champion Alan Cavignaro. Oh, God, these guys on the back are going crazy. What are they doing? It, well, the two's on the apron. 24 is on the apron. Crap. 24, something is wrong with that 24. Oh, he's going to wreck, he's going to wreck, he's going to wreck. No, he's not. All right, so he lost a whole lot of ground just now. I'm not sure what was going on with him. But out front is Kevin Naro. Let's look back from the champion. As you can see, the 24 is just dragging now. Chris Washer back there, he's making a move. He has the 24 of Zinderman right behind him. Who doesn't love a good Talladega race? The, 20, the two car now of Hendrick Fan goes down into second. Getting pushed by a rookie. Let's hope the rookie doesn't have a rookie mistake here. Hendrick Fan to the outside trying to make a move. That never happens though. He's going to get freight trained. To the lead is going to be Chris Washer probably. Yes, the rookie is pushing him. And pushing and pushing and... Oh! What happened? Well, something just happened here and I'm going to pause and we're going to take a look at what just happened. With the 48 of Michael Finch looking to get... Oh! And Caution is not out? See, he gets turned by the 11 right there. The 20 car got, got a little piece of it and the back part... Oh! A uh, really hard hit. How is the caution not out? Well, probably because he was in the back. But that's what happened. Let's get you back to the live race. The caution out. No, the 16 is still leading, followed by the 14 of Zinderman. Hendrick Fan still trailing in third. LJ Mills, I guess he feels better. He's in fourth. Lindsay was shown, was currently, was shown since last time. And new leader, the rookies now. Three, all rookies are one, two, three, and four on the inside line right there. Oh, there they go. Or not. I was yelling again. That was close. They continue to save it here. And these guys are going over 230 miles per hour. You don't want to wreck with that happening. So, anyways, the rookie's back on the inside. He's trying to get the lead. Oh, no, no. Don't hit that left rear. Not the left rear. Not the left rear. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. 48, I'm guessing, is done for the day. Where's he at? There he is. Ah, Michael Finch continues to have bad luck in this series. Meanwhile, the 14 is out front, but here comes Mills on the inside. Three wide for first and second. Mills to the lead now. But here comes a hard-charging Colin Lindsay. Getting pushed by last week's winner, Dixon. Oh, they're touching, they're touching. Oh, this is not going to be good. Don't hit the left rear. Not the left rear. Not the left rear. Not like this. Uh, there they go. Lindsay's around. Hard into the wall. And there they go. The 29 is upside down. And so is the 18. Wrong way. The 18 is... Caution is out for sure. 
the race might not end on a caution it might be a green white checkered but there was a huge wreck as you can see and that's the same place that the uh, 88 flipped last or two weeks ago at Talladega let's take you back to a replay told you guys not to hit the left rear I told you guys this before the race started not really but let's go in slow-mo here the 18 hooked the 16 of washer but he was he knew that wasn't gonna work so he tried to go below him but then the 29 gets turned what's gonna oh no go slower watch this the 29 and ups upside upside down up and over so did the 18 another vicious wreck oh my god look at that 18 go Chris Washer too was involved I don't wanna waste too much time on the replays and all but we're gonna see it one more time let's look back from the 16 or let's ride on board the 16 or no let's ride on board the 29 inside and charge oh man that is a hard hit I hope he's okay so much smoke you can't even see the 18 there you go you heard him but let's get you back to the race uh, who's the leader I don't know The leader is uh, 88. I'm going to have to hurry up and finish this race because I cannot have this for much longer. The race might end on a caution. No, it, wait, will it? It did. It did. The race is over and LJ Mills gets to win at Talladega. He is now a three time winner in the series. I think he's tied up on the all times list with Alan Cavagnaro. I'm not sure. I have to look up into that, but LJ Mills will win after the race ends on the caution. Look at your full race results. LJ Mills, three wins, one season, or in his first season, and he's a rookie. He's definitely not going to be a rookie after this season. But um, congratulations to LJ Mills on his third SCS, his third career SCS win. Let's get you down to victory lane. Not, the, not how the guys wanted to end this, but that's how it ends. Colin Lindsay finishes last. Kevin Naro ninth, finished eighth. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week back at Michigan. Congratulations to LJ Mills.